Hey, Mr. Homeschool. Hi, Mr. Homeschool here. So today's lesson is be all about Our Lady of Guadalupe. So this story begins in Mexico in the 1500s. So most people in Mexico at this time were into pagan Aztec religions, worshiping idols and such, and it was very hard to convert them to Christianity. Then on December 9th in 1531, our Blessed Virgin Mary appeared in Mexico City to a Catholic peasant man named Juan Diego. So in this apparition, Our Lady asked Juan Diego to go to the nearby bishop and request a church to be built in her honor in the area that she appeared to him called Tepeyac. So the bishop was a little skeptical of Juan Diego, so he asked him for a sign to prove that the vision was legit. So the next time he saw Our Lady, she instructed him to pick and fill his tilma, which is like a cloak, full of roses. Now mind you, this is winter, so these roses are totally out of season and rare in these parts of Mexico. So then when Juan Diego brought this to the bishop and the bishop took the roses out of the tilma, they all saw that Mary miraculously left an image of herself imprinted on the fabric. And because of this, the bishop did build that requested church there in Tepeyac. And since then, that image of Our Lady of Guadalupe on that fabric is still miraculously intact, and it's helped convert all of Mexico to Catholicism. Scientists to this day still haven't been able to figure out how that image was imprinted on and has been staying on for the last 500 years, proving how miraculous this really was. Hey, thanks for coming with me to learn all about St. Juan Diego and Our Lady of Guadalupe. So every year in the Catholic Church, we celebrate the feast day of St. Juan Diego on December 9th, and we celebrate Our Lady of Guadalupe on December 12th. St. Juan Diego, pray for us. Our Lady of Guadalupe, pray for us. So hey, if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more things like this, please like this video and subscribe to this channel. As always, thank you and God bless you. Gracias y Dios te bendiga. Hey, Mr. Homeschool.